Hey guys, it's Viviana here with EXP Realty. Welcome back to Mindset Mondays. Today, today we have Mike Collier here, and I just wanted to ask him a few questions. So Mike, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what mindset means to you? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, thanks for having me on. Um, I appreciate it. This is an awesome show. I love what you're doing. Um, so uh, mindset to me is, uh, it's, it's some, it, you know, people say it's not how you start, but how you finish. But I tend to disagree with that. I flip that on its head and say it is exactly about how you start because how you start starts with your mindset, right? Um, so it, it starts well before the physical act of doing anything. If you Whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. And so it's a matter of really understanding um, that you can do pretty much anything that you want to do it's just a matter of setting the intention and actually doing it. I believe mindset also, it, it helps to, to read certain books. Uh, you know, when I'm in the car, I don't listen to the radio. You know, I'm, I'm always listening to podcasts. I'm always listening to YouTube videos. I'm always constantly feeding my mind. And, um, and I think that has attributed a lot to my success. So for anyone who, you know, struggles with their mindset, I always say, you know, it, it really has more to do with, the 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 we're we are all like sponges and 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 it really just depends on you know what you're what you're dunking yourself into what are you surrounding yourself with because whatever you surround yourself with you you're going to absorb and so yeah positive mindset it comes it stems from a positive environment awesome and what podcast do you like to listen to uh my my favorite one right now that i have all the time on is earn your leisure so earn your leisure. It's uh, it's guys talking much more about um, investment. I'm I'm big on like wealth building, which is you know why I'm at EXP, right? So wealth building, um, not just through you know all of the the traditional ways of building wealth, but you know I find that um, you know whether it's stock investing, real estate investing, or you know crypto investing, um, to, you know, and then you got things like Turo and Airbnb and all of that kind of stuff. People are making money so many different ways these days. And it's really, again, it's about, it's about what you surround yourself with. So I'm surrounding myself with those wealth messages. So you already know which way I'm headed. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. And what would you say, what advice outside of, you know, feeding your mind, how does someone, if someone identifies themselves with more of a fixed mindset, how, how would you, like, what would you tell them to try to get more of like a growth mindset? It, it's kind of go. It kind of goes back to what I was just saying to, um, you know, whether you believe that you can or believe that you can't, you're right. Uh, there are people who come into, let's just use real estate, for example. There's a lot of agents who come into real estate with an employee mindset, as I like to say, right? They think that they can clock in at nine and clock out by five or, or sooner because they're their own boss now, right? And, and then they get frustrated with the success that they have or, or the success that they don't have. Whereas with a with a uh, with a real estate entrepreneur, like you have to realize that you are opening a business, you are a real estate uh, business owner, and so you would just like you would not open up a bakery and never tell anybody that you're in business, and never do any marketing planning, never do any budget planning, right? Not count what what it's going to cost for you to start this business up. Um, is the same way that you can't do that and then and then open the doors and expect for people to flood in and that you're just going to be successful. You can't do that with real estate either. You cannot come into this real estate business, uh, getting a real estate license, but being scared to tell people that you're in real estate other than just your few friends that aren't going to buy a house from you anyway. Right. Um, yeah. You know, so you, you can't be that the secret agent. You can't come in. Uh, you know, it's very difficult. I should say it's, it's difficult to come in without any. Um, you know, any cash reserves at all. Like you, you gotta, you gotta think that you're going to, you're opening a business. And so a lot of times I think people are with this fixed, this fixed mindset, as you call it, it, it has a lot more to do with what they've been told. Um, I'd say miseducation. It comes from miseducation, but when you begin to educate yourself on the opportunities that lie, um, you know, you start to realize what is actually available to you. And then all of a sudden you wake up. You know, skill can be taught, but hustle can't. Yeah, awesome. So, 
Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming on and I'm super excited about Mindset Mondays. So yeah, me too. Great job. I love it. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.